We're watching Invincible season one. Who are you calling ugly? I'm excited to watch this. The first episode was friggin' wild, at least the end of it. The second one has given us more story and now I'm excited to see the third. Oh, he killed them all. And now he's gonna come speak at their funerals like he didn't rip them apart. I fought the unimaginable in defense of this world. Today, we have lost titans, heroes, who will save us now. Omni-Man will. You will have moments of doubt, but in those moments, have faith and look to the sky. I say his reasoning for killing all the other superheroes was because like he has to be the only protector of Earth, but I don't even know if that's true. It was the Guardians who welcomed me when I first arrived on this planet. My friends. They knew the reality of this life. Martian Man was exiled. War Woman was from a different age. Darkwing, <clears throat> well. He was a duck. I can't believe he's given this speech. I hope they will rest in peace, but at least they will rest together. He's crazy. He's finally standing still, and I still can't see him. I could have been my mom, putting my dad in one of those holes, or me. None of us are. You see that number? I want to get to 15,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If you like my content, hit that subscribe button. But you are. Oh, are we just going to keep adding blood every time? Because the first episode, there was no blood. The second episode, there was. And now there's more. And how long until he kills like Hellboy over here? What do you want, catch killer? You just don't want to go home. I like that it's cold so you can see his breath when he talks. That's so cool. Attacked in darkness, left for dead. Are you insinuating something? A little bit. If you remember something, I'll call you. And our wife is already slightly suspecting. He really saved our bacon with those flaxens. Come work for the GDA and build me a new Guardians of the Globe. Then I don't know what to say. That means Mark is gonna be on the team, I'm sure. Why don't you call William? And do what? After this? Hey, watch the tone. What happens out there? The mistakes, even the victories, you can't bring it home. We just came from your friend's funeral. Yeah, and now we're talking about training? What if Mark and I were burying you today? I'm not so easy to kill. Yeah, well, I'm sure that's what Red Rush told Olga. Hey, he could run fast, okay? It's not exactly one of your premier superpowers. Dude, you just buried him and now you're razzing him? But Mark and I can do more good out there. <laughs> Mark's a 17-year-old boy. They break more easily than you think. Oh, yeah, we're being listened to. I forgot about that. <laughs> I just call her or text her. Hello? Grayson? Mark Grayson? <laughs> Who? For real? Mark? I know, I'm just messing oh. with you. For a second, I thought Todd really wasn't supposed to give him her number. You're terrified of me, aren't you? A little bit. <sighs> He's just a little nervous. Finals are coming up and we're both in Miss Walker's Global Issues class. Maybe we can go over everything together? Well played. Anyone home? The robot is going to ask them to join and then he's also going to ask Mark to join. Eve? I thought you were at the funeral. I was. I'd say you should have been there, but it was pretty bleak. Red Rush is gone. Is there somebody else in that shower too? You okay? Hiccups. Hmm. Is Rex in that shower? Mm. You piece of shit! Wait a minute. What's he doing in there? Just wait a second. Don't even. What was the noises coming from there? Oh, oh yeah, I forgot there was multiple. Rex said you're dating Invincible now. Said that you guys talked about it. What? Oh, it's true. What? Rex is trash anyway. Hold on. This? No. This doesn't mean shit. They're not even the real Kate. We're all the real Kate. Yeah. Rex is the worst. It's the crowning achievement of any crusader's career to be selected for the new Guardians of the Globe. And he gets the pick of the litter. My dad, he wants to train me himself. Plus, my mom would kill me if okay. I was more school. Then why are you here? It would be really cool to see a bunch of superheroes get together to try out for this team. Thank you all for coming here today. Those of you who pass our trials will be among the elite. Is this part of the trials? The dancing of the chest? 
Not all of you will be up to the challenge. Ouch. What's up with her? No idea. Yeah. Get inside of his ear and blow up his head. Ew! Is his blood green? The strength of your character and spirit. Nice! That is what truly makes a hero. Black Samson, shrinking red monster girl. <laughs> Can we kick Rex out? But isn't there like an age requirement for this ride? Monster Girl could legit be like 42. We don't know. We don't know how her powers work. Isn't there a dick size requirement? I'm sorry. <laughs> you must be compensating for something. <laughs> she is a little monster. I love it. Some motherfucking what the fuck? Yes. Okay, you know, maybe Rex doesn't need to get kicked out, but he needs to get some sense kicked into him. <laughs> Is this okay? He asked for it. Okay, enough. Get lost, Boy Scout. I think at a certain point, you know, you do need to lay off your teammates. Invincible hit that little girl. For real? Shit. She's a monster. I'm so sorry. No, if she's gonna be on the team, then she has to take a hit just like everybody else. The kid thing sets me off every time, and then it's like, rah, beast mode. <sighs> Sorry about the dick joke. Ugh, didn't need your help, asshole. Oh, Rex sucks geez. still. And our final member, Adam Eve. I can't be on the same team as Rex and Kate. Rex, what did you do? Ugh. Um, three things. Kate, Kate, and Kate. What's going on? Rex cheated on me. What? With Duplicate, all three of them. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! What an asshole. He wasn't always. I'm sorry. At least now you're free of him because it seems like he was cool when you first started dating. He evolved into an asshole and now you've just grown out of him. We'll be training here. Breakfast is at 6 a.m. Then close in combat exercise. 6 a.m. is so early for breakfast. There is no universe in which I wake up at 6 a.m. and the world <laughs> isn't on fire. I'm with Rex. <laughs> I was with the Guardians from day one. Maybe if you didn't lose your powers, you might have been there to help the Guardians on their last day. I don't know you yet, so I'm gonna assume that was a joke and I don't need to beat your ass until all you want to do is call me dad again. You don't need to assume anything. <laughs> we need a leader we can look in the eye, not a bunch of ones and zeros. No offense. I am the most experienced. You just came in here and you're trying to take over the team? I'm new to this whole team thing, but I thought it involved teamwork. Yeah. As did I. Call me when you figure it out. I'll be in the gym. Well, that wasn't very teamworkish of her. She should have stayed with the team and tried to work it out. Yeah? Whenever I transform, I get younger. It's part of the curse that gives me my powers. Oh my gosh. I don't look it, but I'm 24 years old. That's crazy. The guys who are interested are either going through puberty or popping up on sex offender registries. Yeah. I understand what it's like. How can you understand? You're a robot. Why is everybody so mean to him? Pathetic. <laughs> oh my god! At least I expect it from Omni-Man. I brought you some homework. It'll show Amber you're interested in her. She's also into spicy foods, stand-up comedy. Mark, every date should feel like a first date. Oh, Willie. That was kind of cute. She's standing outside. She's got covered in his trash and plates. So you're into comics? Is it that obvious? <laughs> What's your favorite? He just spreads out like 42 different issues. This one is about a Jack Russell Terrier who's a master of the metaphysical arts. You mind if I borrow it? I mean, just to show you that I'm interested. Yeah, absolutely. They're super cute. I'm gonna run and use your bathroom while you deal with that. Is it Eve? Or maybe it's the robot? <sighs> Christ almighty, oh. I didn't think she would ever leave. Are you spying on me? Yeah, a little bit. When the world needs you, you answer your goddamn phone. Rogue supervillain. Eve's gonna be there? Or did that just sweeten the deal? A little bit. Mount Rushmore. What state is that again? Montana? 
What do they teach you kids in school? I forgot I promised I'd help him with this thing. No, I don't want to blow off Amber. South Dakota? South Dakota. Like I said. He made himself a pair of earthquake gloves. He basically gets a concussion Ooh. every time he uses them. So your basic mad scientist deal. Have fun, kids. I guess, yeah. If the earthquake's starting with you, it's a big jiggle, and that might jiggle your brain. They were oppressors, racists, slave owners. Bow before Doc Seismic. Tell me your plan. Maybe I'm on your side. Well, no, I'm not on your side because you're causing an earthquake. The Great Emancipator! <laughs> they can't even be on your side if they're emancipated from their lives. That one is really bad. I like it a little bit. We need to take out his gloves. Those aren't gloves. They're more, uh, earthquake bracelets. <laughs> they cause an earthquake? I don't care if it's like a toe ring. I'm still gonna wear it. That'd be so cool. Oh, no, because I don't want to get the concussions every time I wear it. Yeah, concussion bracelets wouldn't be my thing. I don't know what power in this world I'd want most yet. That is cool, but a concussion every time? Is it that cool? I don't really understand her powers yet. Oh no! Oh, the I thought that kid did not have a dad anymore. <laughs> Eve. Eve. They fell into the crevasse. I got you. He's slipping. Ah, oh, god damn it! I should have spent more time working on the jet. <laughs> Oh my gosh! He just... Wow, that guy is toast. But he just like... Oh, he himself. Why did he do that? Well, he was nuts. He was nuts from all the concussions. Okay. Makes sense. Cecil asked me to save Mount Rushmore, but I left Amber waiting in the room, so I gotta... You left a girl in your room while you flew off to deal with a crisis. Mm-hmm. Good. I mean, not good for her. That's the <laughs> tricky part of the job. Balancing what yeah. you want to do... <clears throat> with what you need to do. Can he go now to his room, Dad? Mm, right. Yeah, thanks. I've been sitting here for an hour. I know. Uh... Oh. I can't believe she's still there. Why did you even agree to hang out if you weren't gonna hang out? You didn't even know I existed until I stood up to Todd. You're the first one who stood there and took him. Twice. I wanted to know the kind of guy that would do that. She is giving you a second chance. Really big. Really big! It might not be dead. You never know when something like that might come in handy. Is this like a backup plan? Maybe if Omni-Man gets a little crazy, we can throw this big squid thing at him? Cause I don't know how I feel. I've been waiting I like that there's another picture of him up there, but in her costume. I screwed up you. I know I did. I just, I don't want to. Yeah, but you do. That wasn't an apology, Rex. Not even the slightest. <laughs> Give me a do-over, just this one time. Good luck with the new team, Rex. He still didn't even apologize to her for the cheating. He apologized to her for not apologizing for the cheating. Oh, Rex, I think you guys just need to not be together and you need to grow up a bit. Uh, I'm sorry, Eve, but I really like him with Amber. I'm glad she wasn't mad about it. We are just keeping all these creatures locked down. Oh wow, at least you're never alone. Uh, Thursday. Oh. Chicken pot pie. Everybody's favorite. Yum. Is his clone also in there? Yeah. He opened the other side. Shit. Move your hand! Oh my gosh! We're about to get our arm ripped off. <gasps> Oh, we get to keep her arm? Damn. Chicken pot pie night. There's a bunch of pot pies still on the rest of that little delivery cart. You can just take one with you. No one else gets their pie now. <laughs> I love that everyone just runs away. No, he's still gonna shoot them all. Zigzag, everybody. <laughs> I thought that one guy was gonna get stuck back there. We have a benefactor, it seems. Yeah, it does. 
Oh, okay, we're not too far away. I thought we we're like crazy in the middle of the desert. Like we're gonna have to walk days. What now? Get a move on. I'm surprised you don't see it. You being the original and all. <laughs> oh my gosh! Betrayed by your own clone. He could have used that piece of metal to do this. Instead, he used the original body. If you want to watch this and other shows and movies unedited, full length, throw over my Patreon. You can go watch them. Want to pick a movie for me to watch? Want to vote and pulse decide what I watch next and watch some requested movies with me? You can do that. Give me an update. You get my team ready for the deep end yet? We still have work to do. What? She just asked our husband to get us some security and he didn't yet. And now this is happening? My apologies. I don't think he'll hurt what her though. What are you though. doing in my house? But are they gonna theorize about her husband? The massacre. Still not clear to me. Seven dead, one alive. Your husband. Why do you care? Husband told you nothing, not a whisper. Is he played by Clancy Brown? You have a lovely home. Debbie? You all right? And he's but gone. I, something. I was just coming to bed. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be suspecting him even more. I don't want her to be put in danger. It's not even like I'm thinking maybe there's a chance that he won't kill her if he finds out. No, I 100% think that if Omni-Man finds out that his wife knows that he killed people, I think he'd kill her. I think he'd stage an accident, but I think he would do it. And I fear for her. I don't want her to find out too much, but I know Mark would protect her if he could. Like if he knew that she was in danger, he would 100% protect her. I like Amber and Mark. I like where it's going. I do like Eve too, but she doesn't need to be with anyone right now you know she can go off and just be single for an hour meet someone else maybe and then maybe down the road her and mark can get together i don't know but i do like him and amber right now i think they're cute together and i want to know if he's ever going to tell her that he's invincible i like willie too and i want to know if he's going to tell willie Willie's gonna freak out though I feel like when he finds out Mark's dad is Omni-Man, especially since in the first episode he tells him his dad's hop, that hot mustache. The twists, the twists at, they put at the end of these episodes are always so crazy. <laughs> they always throw me off. Thank you guys for watching this with me. Bye.